What's going on Guardians, your boy Sly here and welcome back to another Destiny video. It is Tuesday, July 12th and with it, my favorite time of the week and that is the reset of all things loot in Destiny. First of all guys, I just want to apologize to all of you out there for the lack of videos the past week or so. I'm trying to upgrade my channel a bit and I've been saving up to buy like a beastly PC with some new video editors, microphones, stuff like that to try to make the best video possible. So please bear with me as I get everything set up and ready for the pieces to start to trickle in. The good news is, is that this new PC will be stream ready. So I plan to start doing some raiding and Destiny Division streams, all of that within the next week or so depending on when everything comes in. The Tuesday reset raids will definitely be back and then on the weekends we can do some Sherpas, help people with moments of triumph, stuff like that. You know, I'll figure all of that out here soon, but until the new PC actually comes in complete, I'll be using this old one and it's hard to make videos off of this thing, so bear with me as I upgrade and I can't wait to see what the new beast will be capable of next week. Alright, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching Sly Nation. You are all freaking awesome, and let's get this video reset guide underway. So first up, we're peeping out the weeklies, and let's start out with the Crucible. Our first weekly playlist is Doubles, my friends. Doubles, yes, it is back, and this is my favorite competitive-oriented playlist. It's not like a sweaty elimination or like a trials kind of thing. It's just fun, guys. This is a rare appearance, so enjoy it while it lasts. Next up, we have my go-to playlist, which is Freelance 6v6. This is a solo-only queue and is a matchup of Clash, Control, and Rift. Always a good time. Finally, Elimination is here also in the middle, holding down the fort until Trials of Osiris opens back up on Friday. Alright, so next up, let's head into the Nightfall and check out its modifiers. And, oh man, I think it's bugged again, guys. The last time I made a reset guide and it had this many modifiers on it, they ended up coming back through and changing a lot of things later on that day. So if you're quick and this is indeed another bug, you can actually complete this Nightfall and they get a chance to complete it again with rewards once it resets with the right modifiers, once you know Bungie actually comes in and fixes it. So that might be something to try out. But all right, well, let's go through them anyway, just in case. First up, we have our homeboy Epic. Super aggressive, insanely awesome enemies, large numbers, yep, yep. Then for our real modifiers, we have Arc Burn. Arc damage from any source is greatly increased. Next, we have Brawler. Guardian melee damage is greatly increased. And then Specialist. Special weapon damage is favored. Next, Mysterious Fresh Troops. Some group of enemies have additional reinforcements. Then, Ironclad. More enemies have shields. Then, one of the worst modifiers out there, Match Game. Enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. And finally, our last modifier is Exposure. Guardian shields are increased in strength, but do not replenish. That is a lot, guys. But anyways, you got this. Let's launch this bad boy and see who we're taking down this week. Whether we wanted it or not, we've stepped into a war with a cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command one by one. Valis to Ark again? Man, there is definitely something weird going on. But like I said, if you can get this done with all these modifiers, there is a chance for double rewards. Do this one first, then when it updates, progress will be reset, and then you can do the new, new Nightfall again. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Alright, well let's take a look at the Heroic Strike playlist and see what's new over there. If you see more than four modifiers in that playlist, then it probably means it's bugged as well, and... Yeah, dude, it's definitely messed up. Alright, well for the Heroic playlist, we have six modifiers total, and first up, it's Epic's little brother, Heroic. Enemies in greater numbers, they are more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Following that, Arc Burn, Arc Damage is increased from all sources. <laughs> and look, we have Primary and Secondary Damage increase. It's definitely bugged, guys. So, Small Arms, Primary Weapon Damage is favored, and then Specialist, Special Weapon Damage is favored. Following that, Ironclad, more enemies have Shields, and then finally, Airborne players deal more damage while in the air. So again, be aware this might all change by the time you guys actually see this video, so don't be surprised. Alright, well, we're done here for the weeklies. Let's head down to the tower and see what our home bro Shax has for us in terms of bounties for the week. Alright, well, as most of you know, at the start of a new week, treasure boxes are at the Postmaster, so don't forget to pick yours up. It is Christmas in July, and oh good, a Titan helmet on a warlock. Neato. Well, 
Well, anyway, moving on to Jack's bounties, guys. First on the list, we have Individual Achievement. Score at least 1,500 points in two separate matches. Following that, we have Making an Impact, win seven matches. Next, Crucible Combat. Win one game in three different modes, Control, Clash, and Skirmish. Featured matches is up next. Earn points by playing any featured Crucible match daily or weekly. Wins are worth three. Losses are won. Five points total. Scratches this off the list. And then you can start working on as a team. Complete five matches in a fire team of two or more players. Then finally, turn all of these bad boys in and you are good to go. Alright guys, and just like last week, we are once again forced to keep all the worm spore in our vault for the time being. None of the vendors are accepting worm spore for reputation right now. Well, at least none that matter. But, uh, well, we're done here guys. Let's head up to orbit and over to the reef so we can check out Chicky Pie Petra and the Space Cricket Varix. Alright, well, starting with the Magnificent Blue Lady, we have Take the Wanted. Kill Erksery the Lost in the Cosmodrome. After that, we have Kill 12 Named or Consumed, Fallen, Hive, Cabal, or Vex on Venus. And I don't see why they can't pair these together. You know, if you have to take down a wanted boss in the Cosmodrome, the next bounty should be in the Cosmodrome as well, right? That makes sense. Kill 12 on Venus, then pair it with a boss, like a boss on Venus. Like, psh, destiny these days. <laughs> anyway, guys, the last one we have is Kill 100 Taken. All right, well, thank you, Madam Petra. Now it's time to hop over to Varix. Pick up our box of goodies as well as some of them bounties. Even though I'm packed full of them, let's check them out anyway, guys. First up, Heavy Hitter. Use a heavy weapon to kill enemies at level 41 PoE or the challenge. Following that, kill them back. Kill enemies in the prison or the challenge. Doesn't matter how many, just keep shooting until it pops up and it's done. Finally, our last reef bounty, Shadow Boxer. Use void abilities to kill enemies in level 41 PoE or the challenge of elders. Alright, moving on to the bonus modifier of the week. We have grenade kills. Killing enemies with grenades in the challenge of elders will yield you significantly more points. Alright guys, well while we're here, let's check out the challenge modifiers for the week as well. You already know that the bonus modifier is to get grenade kills, but the other challenges are grounded. Players take more damage while in the air, and then my favorite mod... Catapult. Grenade recharge rate is greatly increased. Void walkers with scatter grenades, nothing manacles, and energy drain that recharges your grenades every time energy drain damages enemies, and you can make it to where grenades, melee, and your super all has the energy drain effect. So throwing grenades actually gets you back your grenade. With catapult on, that's pretty much infinite grenades, guys. A very, very fun build. Definitely try that out. I'm pretty sure the top team next week will no doubt be a team of three warlocks. All right, well, while we're in orbit, let's head over to the Dreadnought and check out the challenge in King's Fall. So last week we just finished up Oryx. That means we're back to the beginning of the rotation, and the War Priest is our challenger now. By far the easiest out there, so go get him. All right, well, let's head down to the bowels of the ship itself and take a look at the core. Now, if you have some fragments left over that you need to find for your moments of triumph, chances are good that they might be locked away in specific boss combinations within the Court of Oryx. Now, a lot of Tier 2 boss combinations have to be completed to earn a specific fragment. It's pretty annoying because the combinations are random, so it's not like you can, you know, summon the one that you need. I recommend checking out the Ghost Tracker website and using their Fragment Tracker program. It will help you out tremendously to find out which pair that you need. Alright, well last week we had Mini Crota. This week's Tier 3 Court of Oryx boss is Balwer. This one is the more mid-range in terms of difficulty. It's easy with 2 or 3 people, but trying to solo this gets a little tough because your shields don't take sword damage. So it gets pretty annoying, especially with smoke dropping your jumps and those damn acolytes always shooting you. Either way, you will get it done, but this one is my least favorite. Well, alright Guardians, that wraps us up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting the smaller YouTuber. It means the absolute world to me, and I'm in the progress of upgrading my channel so I can try to make better videos for all of my viewers out there. I've been saving up for a long time to get this set up, so let's hope it all turns out perfect. I'll have more videos and more news about the stream and everything else once it's done. So once again, sorry about the sparse videos recently, but I'll be back to normal here soon. Alright guys, have a fan-freaking-tastic week, and I'm excited for the future. I hope that all of you out there will join me in it. Until next time, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Zone B secure.